This is the Glenhurst model, which we're about to go into. And then this is just a view of like some of the other homes like on the street. This side is already built up. And then back down, they are still building. And then next door, they've got two on the go. It's got a really, really pretty grand entrance at the front with tall windows. Double car garage. A little bit of a built-in um, covered area here. And then some steps to go inside. Alrighty, so when you come in, your flooring here on this um, foyer, this is a tile flooring. Very, t very high ceilings. And that's the entryway that goes into the house. Over here to the right, this is the formal dining room there. It is carpeted and it opens up and goes into the kitchen. Has a tray ceiling, again, really tall ceilings. Arched entryways. And then the dining room has a super tall window. On the other side, as you come in, to the left is the formal living room, where it could be used as a home office, or could be used as a den. And again, you've got the arched entryways, which are seem to be popular and modern these days. The windows here are really, really big. So this is a bright floor plan. Lots of light comes in. Uh, when we walk through this way, there's a really big open living room with a door to the backyard and then another big window. And then if we look the other way, <clears throat> this is a view of the kitchen. So this kitchen is very open. It's great if you like to um, entertain and be able to talk to friends and family while you're in the kitchen cooking. Um, the microwave, stove, and dishwasher come included in the price. The fridge is an extra. And this floor in the kitchen, this is linoleum, vinyl flooring. So this is not tile in here. This is what the builder calls their um, mocha color uh, cabinetry. This space over here would be the um, eat-in area, like for a small breakfast table. And then we saw the entryway to the, that's the dining room. So in this space over here, we have a, this would be the pantry for this kitchen. And then there is the laundry room right off of the kitchen. It does have a door, so at least you can close the door and uh, in case the washer and dryer are a little bit noisy, you don't have to hear them. And then there's a door that goes out to the garage. There is a wire rack for putting you know, extra storage and dryer would go first on this side, washer on this side. DR, oh, let me see, let me find some light. DR Horton does um, finish their garages, so you'll see that it's been sheetrocked and they put a trim. Uh, it does include a garage door opener. They also put attic access with pull down stairs in all of their garages, and the hot water heater is out in the garage, as well as the electric panel. You've got stairs, brick stairs coming back into the house. Laundry room is also the vinyl linoleum flooring. Alrighty, off on this side of the house is, this is the second bathroom. 
And you've got one vanity, toilet, tub, and shower. And you've got high ceilings throughout the whole house. This is the other bedroom. Second bedroom, it's pretty big. And then this bedroom has a walk-in closet. Let me turn the light on and that might be easier to see. Yeah. So lots of storage in here. Third bedroom is on this side of the house. This one's really bright. And again, you've got another walk-in closet on this side. So definitely lots of storage in these closets. Um, I believe the builder said that these could be uh, raised up and another level put down below to give you extra storage, split, storage space to hang up clothes. Okay, let's go back out to the um, master bedroom on the other side of the house. So this is a split floor plan. This is the master here. Now you've got a ceiling fan in your master and in the living room, so only the other two bedrooms could possibly use a ceiling fan and uh, your front living room if you wanted to. Here's a view to the backyard. You've got some wooded area in the back that's been left there for privacy. You've got a couple, a few trees in the backyard which the builder has left and we'll go out in the yard in just a second. So here's another view of the master. And then this is the master bathroom in here. Again, you've got the vinyl linoleum floor, flooring. You do have the double vanity in here and the, um, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but the cabinetry is a little bit taller so that when you're brushing your teeth, you don't have to bend down as much. The potty is over in this room here and it has its own door for privacy. On the other side here, is a fiberglass stand-up shower and then a nice big tub with like a fogged window for privacy. Over in here is the walk-in closet. And the rack goes all the way around. Let me see if I can get a shot from the top to bottom. I hope I'm not making you too dizzy. I am guilty of going too quickly sometimes. Okay, let's go check out the backyard. So the backyard has this really nice um, covered porch that's been added on and they charge, if you are going to build from new, they charge 5000 for this. So I'm going to stand out here and give you a shot of the yard. It has been sodded, you've got some trees in the yard. The roof actually comes all the way out to make this porch here. There's a neighbor.